shining <laughs> and uh, we have some new routines here because we have new people here right <laughs> and I thought I would take you around for a little new routine I'm not doing much still um, here are the chickens and ducks um, and I thought I'd give you some updates and just kind of show you what's going on and how our routine works. It's pretty simple because um, Junior's been doing a lot of the chores and I've just been focusing on being mommy <laughs> to a newborn. So it's been fun, but we have some things to share with you. What are you guys doing, huh? What is that noise, huh? What is all that noise? <laughs> oh, look what we have here. So we got some new chicks. We got some neat chicks from McMurray Hatchery this week, yesterday actually at the filming of this video. And they are actually for Homesteaders of America Conference in October. If you didn't know yet, we are doing a Homestead Meat Bird lecture with Joel Salton. And he's gonna be doing a butchering demo as well. So I thought that was really cool. Junior's pile of work stuff. He likes to build things. Uh, and um, so they're our responsibility until October. <laughs> really hoping that we can grow them really well and keep them healthy and keep them alive. We've never actually raised these types of meat birds before. They're the Corners Cross. So I'm really curious to see how they grow, how well they grow, and how they grow um, with their Frankenstein fatness and all. Here is what is left of Garden 2019. Nothing. We weeded it all down because we cannot keep up with it. Um, it just, it, we couldn't do it. It was too much with um, baby and I couldn't keep up with it. And I gave myself some grace and I said, you know what? We're just gonna get rid of it. We're gonna weed eat it down. We did keep some watermelon plants. We have some watermelons on there, but um, I don't have high hopes for them either. We probably will not plant a garden next year. I know I said that this year, but I'm really not going to next year because we're hoping to put the house on the market. Um, but we'll see how that goes as well. But I don't think I'm gonna fool with the garden next year unless it's something in buckets or something small. Um, and then there's also the opportunity to garden elsewhere, you know, on different lands. So we'll see how that goes. So most days are spent between feedings because <laughs> he's still eating every two to three hours. I have chicken poop on my leg somehow. So that's going to get rubbed off. So when he's, so, so when he's not eating, I am trying to keep him happy and get stuff done like cleaning the kitchen. And this is an everyday thing. This is not, Amy hasn't cleaned it for a day. This is we're slobs and don't pick up after ourselves every day. So then mom has to pick up in the morning. And most of it's just from dinner time last night. And the issue is that 
dinner time comes and then Everett gets hungry and then mom just wants to go to bed when Everett goes to bed. So um, we're just trying to get back into a routine and it's proving to be a little hectic, but we are getting there or I am getting there. got some work done. I got him fed. He woke up and now he's back to sleep again. And he did not drink the bottle I made for him. If you have watched my birth story video, <clears throat> I lost some of my milk supply when I got mastitis the second week postpartum and it has never come back. And I have tried everything. I have tried pumping more. I have tried herbal remedies. I have tried on demand nursing but I was already doing that before I've tried everything and nothing has worked I've tried having my calories and all that did was make me gain weight I've tried drinking water more and then realized that wasn't working and also found out through research that it's a myth that the more water you drink the more milk you produce it's not true you should only drink water to thirst if you're thirsty drink water and remember to drink water throughout the day but drinking gallons and gallons of water a day will not give you more milk <laughs> so most of it was just coming out in the toilet. But, <clears throat> so I fed him and here I am again, sitting here on the sofa and I might try to put him down and get some more stuff done, mainly eating lunch. So the first part of my morning was we woke up around, I mean, I was up early, but he woke up around eight, um, fed him. He was awake for a while. I got some, video clips taken for a video I'm working on, um, got some pictures taken, try to take lots of pictures of him, and, um, went down to the chicken coop, which you saw to check on the chicks, Junior's been doing chores, <clears throat> and then I came inside, and I got the kitchen kind of cleaned, and by that time, he was ready to take a nap, and I got some breakfast done, he got cranky, put him in his chair, ate breakfast, put him in the Sully wrap, and um, he fell asleep for a while. So I was able to get some work done for HOA, <clears throat> which was really nice um, and convenient for, for about an hour. So that worked out really, really well. And then he woke up, he was hungry. And so he has nursed, but he has not drank his bottle yet, which I don't know if it's because he got enough to drink 
or if he's just really tired. And I'm going to go with he's just really tired because he has been going through a growth spurt. He weighs 11 pounds now. <laughs> so he's he gained that very, very quickly in like a week. Maybe just a little over a week. Maybe a week and a couple days. So he's healthy. He's doing really, really good. Um, so I'm going to try to put him down and get some lunch. That is gonna last. I've gotta turn this monitor on. And I have a for real love-hate relationship with this monitor. I actually got two monitors um, for my baby shower. And I think I'm gonna try and hook the other one up because this monitor is just, it's really weird. It makes these sounds <laughs> that are not coming from the bedroom. I don't know where they're coming from. It's just like, so weird, they're weird sounds, and so all right, I'm gonna make myself some lunch and try to get some stuff done because there's no telling how long I have before he wakes up. So, I'm just doing really quick and easy leftovers from last night. Um, leftovers are pasta. Everyone has been asking me if I've been doing keto since I've had the baby, and the, the short answer is no. The long answer is kind of because I've been trying so when I lost my milk supply I really tried to up my calorie count which upped my carb count um, and then I realized that that wasn't working so I am trying to do low carb uh, not necessarily keto um, and it seems to be working I'm maintaining my weight I'm not gaining anything and I'm not losing anything so I am maintaining my the low carb diet um, but I'm thinking that next week I'm going to start doing keto again. Maybe not as strict as I did before. Um, but I thought maybe if keto can help you get pregnant, maybe keto can help your milk supply come back. Um, so I'm going to try that. I just need to go to the grocery store and get, um, all the, all, all the things for, for keto. Um, cause I didn't get it this week. I, didn't, I just didn't even think about it. So things like lunch meat, cheeses, vegetables to snack on, um, so we'll see. So while I'm waiting for my deep freezer to work, the element, heat element in our oven went out this week and so Mark is putting a new one in today. It's supposed to come today. And so I'm cleaning the oven out, which is probably something I haven't done in an extremely, extremely long time. Uh, and I'm using this method deep freezer to see how well it works because that is some caked on grease in that oven. It says, with non-toxic, plant-based, power green technology, powers through grease, burnt on messes, and spotters. We're gonna put that to the test today. <laughs> but, quick Grove Collaborative plug, because um, I am still loving my Grove Collaborative subscription, and everything I've gotten from them works really, really well, and, you could ask for help. And um, there's a link below where you can sign up and get free stuff. Uh, with your first order and their fall scents are coming out right now yes so y'all need to get on that if you haven't already 
I'll probably do a separate video about this, but natural cleaners are really important to me, especially now that Everett is here because uh, babies actually breathe. Just uh, make your sandwich. Babies actually breathe twice as fast as we do. And so that means they take in twice as much in the air that we do. And so candles, uh, diffusers, chemicals that are in cleaning products that wouldn't normally bother you can bother babies. And it might not look like it bothers them, but um, it can do damage to their lungs and their brain and everything else. So natural cleaners are so important to me right now. And that is why I have the Grove Collaborative subscription. And it's really, really cheap. You pay like $25 for a year subscription. You get free shipping and you get discounts on natural cleaners. So what's not to love about that? Um, I You've seen me talk about them before. I love them. So on to the next thing. So I had mentioned to you that we have some things to talk about, right? Um, let's see. I We got the meat chicks. You saw those this morning. Those are for the HOA conference in October. I am praying really, really hard that they all live. We've already lost one just from shipping because it's been really hot here. Um, already lost one, but that's fine. But I'm hoping we don't lose any more. Um, they will be at a, like I said, a butchering demand at the conference. And then, um, we are getting rid of our tickets. <laughs> we, uh, we are thinking about moving next year and we're getting ready to go into fall and winter and might as well get rid of them now because it's just, why go into winter time feeding animals that you're not going to reap the benefits from in the springtime? So I don't think we're getting rid of all of them. I might keep four, between four and six. Um, I really want to keep my Morans and my um, Whiting, keep a one Whiting True Blue and one Whiting True Green from Emory Hatchery. They've been awesome. They're not, they're not laying yet, but I know it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to show you when they do. Um, and then my Morans rooster so that I can take them with me. I've been waiting years to get Morans of this quality and I really don't feel like giving them up. So, but everybody else is going, including our ducks, and you know how much we love our ducks. Um, but my aunt is taking them, so they're going to a really good home, and she's really going to love them. And so, we can always get more ducks. We could probably get ducks from her, too. We could get hatching eggs from her and hatch them ourselves once we move. So, I'm not too worried about that. Um, it'll be a less stressful winter. We won't have to worry about a lot of feed in the winter time, And um, I think it's just the best decision for us, and it makes sense. So, that's what we're going to do. Hi. Junior is enjoying being a big brother. He's a very good big brother and Everett loves him very much. A lot of people have been asking about that. Um, okay, I think my diffuser, my diffuser, I think my degreaser has been on there for like, well, it's been on there for four minutes and 16 seconds. So I'm gonna wait a couple more seconds and we're gonna see how well this works. Okay, so already it's working. Look. Look at all that grease that that's coming from the sides and it's just greased down look we look look how dirty my oven is i'm serious i don't clean the thing it's probably why the heat element went out but i don't think it's that bad i mean it's not that bad right yeah so it's working let's try to scrub it off works but also ew because I thought that my <laughs> I thought that my oven door glass was actually tented and spotted I could have swore I remembered that when I first bought it but that is obviously not the case that is before this is during cleaning before during slob I'm just I'm just a slob like 20 minutes.
busy with Junior in the kitchen. Um, Junior's proven to be quite a good babysitter. I decided to fold some laundry. And one of my favorite things to fold is sheets, right? I mean, sarcastic. Um, one of the best way to fold sheets is to fold them and then put them in the pillowcase. And that's what I did. Did it quickly. You can't really see it here, but. And now I'm just taking some clips for future videos. Everett had had enough of Big Brother time, so he was ready to start taking a nap. And the best way to get him to go to sleep is to put him in my celly wrap. And I'm going to talk to you about that really quickly in just a second. So I gotta tell you, this Sully wrap is amazing. I have the Moby wrap and I have the Ergo carrier. And, um, you know, when Junior was little, we didn't have a lot of these options. The Moby wrap was around, the Ergo was around, I could not afford it. I didn't even buy this Ergo that I have. My amazing cousin, it's a hand-me-down from her. And so um, I love it. I have the newborn insert. Make sure you're wearing your wraps correctly. I see a lot of people wear their Ergo with brand new babies and it really should have the newborn insert. I learned that the hard way because I tried to put him in the Ergo and um, he was too low down. So I'm supposed to have him up, kissable. Kiss, kiss length. <laughs> and they're much more comfortable with it anyhow. Otherwise their airway could get constricted or they could smother themselves or um, obviously if you're paying attention they're not going to smother themselves. But he loves the Sully wrap as you can tell. Um, he will probably be asleep in less than 10 minutes and I can carry out throughout the day. Sometimes I choose to wear him and do chores while he sleeps so he gets a good nap in. Other times I'm just... I'm just touched out and I want to lay him down and he'll lay down and he'll go to sleep and he'll sleep for a little while but he normally sleeps longer in the Sully wrap or the Moby wrap um, but the Moby is more of a wintertime wrap I've noticed it's a lot thicker and the Sully wrap is more for summer and just general all year long it's a lot thinner um, I actually got this on a Facebook group that sells used Sully wraps because I really didn't want to pay $65 for a new one not knowing if I would like it or not. Now that I know I like it, I will definitely buy a new one um, should something happen to this one. Um, but I will link in the description below the link to the Sully Wrap, the Moby Wrap, the Ergo, and the Sully Wrap group um, that you can get used wraps on. It's really seriously, you guys, if you are having a baby or you have a baby, um, up to 25 pounds, the Sully Wrap can be used. And it's pretty incredible. I could not do life without it as busy as we are here. Um, I've worn it outside to do chores. I wear it inside to do chores. I've worn it out other places. So um, it's amazing. You should get you one. So it is one o'clock and I am behind the ball game on dinner. So I have this theory that if you are behind the game on dinner, then it's totally okay to cheat on dinner. <laughs> so I'm using my crock pot. It's one o'clock. I am throwing some frozen chicken into my crock pot. And then I'm going to use a non-homemade <laughs> uh, Parmesan cheese. trash up two Wawa coffee cups and a cup from breakfast this morning the coconut oil behind that was for him when he had thrush I'm gonna write a blog post about that and maybe do a video it was a really great remedy for thrush homemade all natural 
Um, it was suggested to me to use the Genetian Violet dye, and I really didn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, and so I reached out to a nutritionist friend of mine, and she told me to give him probiotics and coconut oil in a certain way and it worked it was gone his thrush was gone in like three days so i'm gonna write more about that in a blog post and make a video about it but um you know it's just on the short list of things to do all right well that's about our day uh the things i won't be showing you is mark will get home and we'll talk and chat and have fun and catch up for the day and then we'll finish making dinner and eat and the rest of the night goes by really, really fast. Everett eats every two hours and then he's in bed. And that's a normal routine day for me. Um, I'm getting ready to do some more work while he's asleep. I'm probably just gonna wear him, loosen this up so he doesn't get too hot and wear him so I can get more work done in a longer amount of time. This has been my adjustment. This is my adjustment right now and I know that in a few weeks, um, you know, in a couple months, it's going to be different. He's going to be bigger. He's going to be less needy, less sleepy, more active. And um, we'll adjust again. I'll have to adjust again, and that's okay. You know, there's one thing I've learned about being a mom again is that you adjust and baby adjusts too. And he has just brought so much joy to our family that, you know what, if something doesn't get done one day, it can get done the next day and I'm just enjoying him trying to soak him all up because I don't remember Junior being this little I don't remember all of the things that he did and I really want to try to remember this as much as possible even though I'll probably forget in 10 years but I'm just really not taking this baby for granted knowing that this one could be our last one who knows if we could have any more <clears throat> and I didn't know that with Junior so I think I did take a lot of stuff for granted and, and didn't soak it all in and and thought, well, I need to get the dishes done, I need to get this and this and that done, and and so time was just, time had to work around me instead of me working around time. And this time, I'm working around time. So, time waits for no one. And before I know it, I'm gonna be sending him off to school, or sending him off to a job, or watching him walk down the aisle and get married. You never know. In the blink of an eye, it's gonna happen. So, I don't wanna miss these moments now. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Lots and lots of videos coming up for you. I have lists. I'm trying to knock them all out um, each and every day, taking different clips and stuff to put it all together and schedule them out so that, so that I can schedule them out and then have a few weeks back to myself, take a bunch of clips for a bunch of more videos and then schedule them out again. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Happy homesteading.